In this video, we are going to use Power Automate to update our SharePoint list hyperlink column value with both the URL and the alternative text that you can add. Now you can see in Power Automate, I have this flow as an update item action and I'm connected to my SharePoint list where I want to update my column called Flow Home, which is a hyperlink column. But with that selected here, I cannot add the alternative text. I can only add the URL. So if I hop over to my list and I edit on this row here, my flow home, you can see I can enter a URL and an alternative text optional here. And on these other rows here, I've already done that. And I want to update this one here using Power Automate and, and of course in future flows or future rows, I want to do that automatically. And with the update item action here, I cannot do that, but I can achieve it using another SharePoint connector action, which is the send an HTTP request to SharePoint. So that's what we're going to do. Now, in order to do that, I want to do it dynamically. So we're going to need to get some information from our list before we can update that value and what we need there's two things there's the flow id and that uh, excuse me there's the sharepoint list id and then there's also a thing called list entity type list item entity type full name so we're going to need to do that we're going to need to get those first and the way that we get those is with send an http request to sharepoint action and so our flow we're going to have both we're going to have two HTTP requests. The first one is getting the, those details, and the second one is updating our list. So we deleted the update item action, and we're going to search for send an HTTP request to SharePoint. If I type in there, I can grab it here. I need to connect to my site address and then i'm going to leave method as git and the uri that i need you can grab that from the video description down below i'll paste that in here you just need to edit where it says get by title with your list name so if i go to my list here's my list name i will copy that and i'll go back to my flow i'll remove this text and add that title in now before you continue, I would always recommend that you save and test to make sure that this is going to result in the data that you need. I've already tested this. I know it's going to, but in order to proceed further, we need this to give us two things. As I mentioned earlier, we need the ID, list ID, and we need the item identity type full name. So I'm going to put in two compose actions. I have my compose action favorited here. So I will select that. And then I need an expression because I can't grab dynamic content simply from the uh, HTTP request because all I can, all it will give me is the body of the request. So those outputs which contain the ID and the entity type full name, because that's what we are selecting those things from. And so what I can do is I can write an expression. So I'll click into the inputs field. I will click on insert expression, and then you can grab this from the video description. I'll paste it in here. This is going to result in my ID. So we click add, and then I'm going to update my compose. So it's going to show us that it's going to compose the ID. We'll more specifically say list ID, and then we'll add in another compose. This compose is going to be another expression, which you can grab down below. And I will paste that into here. And I will also grab this copy list item entity type full name and put it up here into renaming my compose action. Now I'm going to run a test on this. So I will click test 
and then manually and then save and test. And then we'll make sure that it results in the ID and the entity type full name that we need in order to pass those values into our next HTTP request to SharePoint. So we run flow, click done, and we can check these compose. Here's my list ID. Here is my entity type full name. So now that I've done that and confirmed those, let's edit and we can add in our next request to SharePoint. Connect to your site address. And this one is going to be method of post and the URI, which you can find down below. I'll paste in here. You just need to replace GUID with your GUID. So what we'll do is dynamic content and list ID. And then here for item number, you'll also want to know which one you're updating. Now, I'm going to hard code this item number for this example, but you should obviously pass it as dynamic content for your flows. And you would do that, for example, by um, a get item action or an update item action, or whatever you're going to do, you'll pass that dynamically here. But for this example, I'm going to go back to my flow directory, my SharePoint list, and I'm going to find my item column and it's right here. This is the row that I'm going to insert. So I'm, or update, however you want to say that. And then it's row, it's item ID two. So I'm going to put a two in here. Now you also are going to need headers and a body. Let's put in our body first. So you can grab this from down below. We'll put it in here and you can see a number of things that we need to update here. The first is the list entity type. So we go ahead and remove this text here and then dynamically we will insert the outputs here and then your list column name. So your list column name, of course, is found on your list. Mine is flow home. And I will change this to flow home. And it's going to be flow home with no space. And then the URL, again, you'll be passing that dynamically. The, and the description, you may also be passing dynamically. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave these as they are. But let's just update this one flow, say flow home and you would pass your flow URL, that's what you're doing, but your URL, however you need it um, to be in here, hard-coded or dynamic. And then we need to add in our headers. So our headers, you can find down below, we have four. The first one is accept, and the value is this. The second one's he headers value is the same thing, but it's going to be, the key is uh, constant type. And then we have an if match. And the if match value is going to be an asterisk. And then we have a last key of XHTTP method. And then the value is merge in all caps. And we save. And I would recommend renaming these actions right here. So we'll go ahead and rename this one to a, well, we're not going to rename this one because we're using it in these compose. I don't want to mess that up for right now. I would recommend renaming it to like get something or other, um, get ID, get um, entity type full name. But this one I'm going to rename to update hyperlink field. And I'll save again. And now I'm going to run a final test on this. So let's test it, the manual tests, run flow, done. Wait for that to run. It's run successfully. Let's hop over to our list and we'll just refresh on this page and we'll take a look. There is the updated field flow home. If I click on the row, I can see 
workflow home. And here's the URL from my, that I hard quoted into my request to SharePoint action. Let's hop back over to Power Automate and let's do one more thing before we wrap up, which is let's edit our flow and add notes to our compose actions. And the reason being is because if you notice that once you save your flow, these compose actions, the, the tags are going to change to look like dynamic content from your request to SharePoint action. So you're going to lose the ability to edit on these expressions if you click them. So if I click here and click expression, it's going to be empty. Normally you can click on an expression. If I hover over it, it will show me the expression, which is good, but I want to be able to just simply copy that if I need to. So the best thing that you could do is to add a note and let me grab that expression that I used, which I've saved in my notepad. And I'm going to put in here expression used. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing for this compose here. Copy my expression and write expression used. And that's just good for troubleshooting. I'm going to save that and we're all done. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.